Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Today is a very special day because we have a new goal in mind. Um, we are going to strive to reach 1800 ELO. We have gotten to 1000 ELO from 500 ELO. We got all the way to 1200 ELO from 1000 ELO. And uh, now the goal is to conquer even more ELO territory. I want to get into the 1800s. This is going to be a long series. Um, what I'm going to do is actually kind of combine my journey today. Um, I think that I've played every day for about 227 days. And so today is going to be episode 228. So um, I hope you guys enjoy uh, my journey thus far. If you haven't checked it out, go check out my journey to 1000, my journey to 1200 series. They're pretty fun. Um, we just finished and we're on the way to 1800. That's going to be what we're striving for. And, uh, it's been fun. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, all right. Hopefully we can start off on the right foot. We are rated 1205. Um, I've been having pretty good luck with, um, the white pieces as of late. Um, we'll see what my opponent allows. Um, we're going to just play a London like we normally do. My opponent is from Switzerland. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, I'm going to... Bring the knight out and then play e3. Okay, so my opponent gets their light squared bishop out. I'm going to play e3. Now my goal is to get the bishop onto d3. Um, we could play, play around and try and chase the bishop around, but I don't think that that's what I want to do. I'm going to just go for a bishop trade and castle if I can. I want to get the knight over to d2 as well. If my opponent plays bishop check on a b4, I don't think that's an issue. We'll just play c3. If my opponent plays bishop to d6, then we will probably play knight to e5. Maybe, maybe not, actually, because he has a move like this kind of being a slight nuisance to my, uh, I think I want to start with knight d2, so. Castling looks good. Okay, so he plays kind of a slower move. Um, castling looks fine. Knight d2 looks fine. I think I'm just going to. Um, castle and get the knight on d2 next move all right so it looks like he's gonna play this okay he doesn't I thought for sure he was um, gonna start attacking me that's cool um, very friendly I think I have a break like this c4 if he takes I can take with the knight it's a pretty cool move um, I can also play a move like h3, gives my bishop a square to go to if uh, any funny business starts to happen. Um, I think we'll play quick and we'll play um, c4 just right away. And my goal is to... Uh, okay, so I'm not worried about that. I can take this a few different ways. I'm wondering about just taking... If I take this, he takes. So if I take, he could take with his knight is, I guess, maybe the thought. <clears throat> if he takes, I can take with my knight or my queen.
I think bringing a rook to the file is good. And then maybe playing a move like h3 just so I can keep this bishop maybe on this file. We'll see. I don't I don't know if that's necessary, but So it looks like you might want to bring the knight into um, that square, which would win a tempo on my queen. So I'm going to play a a3. Now he could take a few different ways. I could take with my knight. All right. So this is getting a little complicated for me, but... um. So if I take here, he takes with the knight. What am I going to do? Back up? Hmm. Could play queen here. It looks like... I mean, queen here doesn't look like a terrible move. Um... So I think queen, uh, man, if I play this, he's just going to take, yeah, I don't really want to do that. Is that going to get my queen in trouble if I come up in here, though? Maybe, maybe not. I think I'm going to try and open things up, and I don't really know what I want to do to do it. I'm guessing I played c4. I really want him to take. He's not taking. So maybe putting the knight in the center of the board is okay right now. I have another eye on this pawn. I took a little while to think there. I probably should have played a little faster, but... <clears throat> So maybe h3, I don't know, we'll see. I'm, I'm not really sure. I could rotate this knight maybe over to b3 and up to c5. I do need to be careful. That would be kind of a tactic, like, you know, he could take here. I don't know, maybe not. So if I take here, he takes, and then I take here, that looks like a cool little thing. Maybe it's not, but... <clears throat> I was thinking taken here, it attacks the knight, and it's an attack on the bishop, but now that I see that he he's just going to move the knight, I mean, doesn't have many good squares to go to, though. He could just take my knight at that point, I guess. Maybe taking the knight first was better. <clears throat> so I imagine he takes back
If I take, so if he takes, I take back. Okay. So I need to take back. If he takes here, I could play bishop here. Could also play knight here, which is sort of a forking. I feel like I have a pretty decent position. I'm up a pawn. I mean, he's going to win the pawn right back, but. So my thought was this, but I'm seeing that he could. Um, like, I was thinking play like this. But I guess he can just take. No, he can't take. Because I can take. If I play bishop here, he can just take. I'm going to play bishop here. Um, if he does take, I might take with a knight. Maybe not. Maybe I do take with the rook. I don't know. So if I take with the rook, we trade rooks. I take with the knight I'm threatening if I take with the knight this is under attack hmm Probably shouldn't spend very long on this. Um, I'm just having trouble calculating what is the better thing. Um, if I take with the knight, he's got to move the rook, is my thought. So I'm going to take with the knight, bettering my knight's position maybe a bit, keeping eyes on things. And if he plays like rook here, I can play bishop here, actually. Actually, no, I can't, because my queen would hang. So, maybe queen here. And then that move. Could also think about trying to bring the queen up in here. <clears throat> I need to um, also make a luft for my king so I don't have any back rank issues. Maybe b4 was a move as well. I don't know. I think he would have, oh, before all this happened, maybe I could have played b4. This is kind of, I didn't expect him to take with the rook. So right now he's got to move the rook. He could go here, 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 here. I guess he could go here as well. Could go here, here, here. So he's got some squares he can go to. Maybe here's a good move. 
Well, my bishop defends it. I take, he takes. Oh, I can't take. That's a cool move. That is a cool move. Brilliant move, actually, because my queen. Huh. Super cool move. So if I move, I can't take this. If I play knight here, does that do anything? Then he just trades, probably. <clears throat> if I play this and he takes with the queen, I was just trying to see if there was any tricks there. If I play, if I play this move and he takes. I don't have anything there. I think my best bet is to move the knight. Where to move it to? I'm not sure exactly. Um, if I move it here, he's got to play. Yeah, I can't really do anything crazy. So I think I'm going to move it up here a good spot for it. I'm going to take back on um, C1 with another Rook or even Material. Maybe he's overextended a bit. I don't know. That was a good tactic there. We'll look at the game review and see. Oh. He's a genius and I'm not. That was a great tactic. Oh my god and everything is so defended. Mm, that actually just lost me the game. That sucks. Yeah, this pin ended up being an issue. Wow. I mean, dude's playing a fantastic game. I, I got to give him credit. I mean, what the heck? Wow. I mean, fantastic play. Wow. Wowzers. I am missing all sorts of stuff. Jeez Louise. Boom. I mean, wow. Interesting go. Can't take that. Can't move here. Can't move there. Um, well, can move there, actually. Um, but that would be nasty. No, it wouldn't. I'd just take. Dude is playing really well. I'm going to play queen c3. I feel like I've pretty much lost this game um, by this point, but 
I guess he has this. If I take. Phenomenal. Something like a phenomenon. Uh. <clears throat> I'm not sure where he wants to go with this. I'm I'm just got to play fast, so. Oh man. I missed quite a few things in this game. He played really tactically. Maybe he's gonna slide the rook over now, something like that. Maybe to here. He's gotta defend this first, so I'm assuming either moving the knight or playing f5. I can just play. A move like this, then Whew. let him get that piece on me, man. Really, I just need to build up a strong attack. I'm wondering if uh, maybe we can get things off of this file. Maybe I could do some sort of battery or something. Yet again, another fantastic move, my friend. Um, I mean, I don't have to... Oh, he's going to get in there. So he's going for this. And if I play here, it's just a super fork. So if I go back... He's just living off of pins here. Living on a prayer. I'm going to take this pawn... Oh, now he's got this. Dude is a beast. Hopefully, I mean, he takes quite a few minutes on his moves. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Would you look at it? Would you just look at it? Um. So, moving the rook seems like a good idea. Um. I'm not sure. <clears throat> uh, what am I doing, man? Jeez Louise. Dude is a beast. Can't even can't even uh complain. Yeah, I just had all the problems in that position. Felt like I was doing fine at, for a while, but he played with ninety point one percent accuracy, which is crazy. Um yeah, we played a London. He played basically almost all perfect moves. This was an inaccuracy on his end, but castling was better. Um, I played c4, which is the best move. Um, bringing the rook over, good move, but taking actually is a better move. So we were wondering what to do in that position. Taking was the better way to go about it. Um, okay, he develops his his knight it's not the best move what is a good move um taking apparently was the move <clears throat> i made an inaccurate move i should have taken on i yeah we should have done something about the tension in the center um my knight going there was not really necessary um it actually would be fine to put it on this square um so yeah it wanted me to do something about the tension in the center um, the best move here is to actually attack the rook. So this is what I meant when I was saying b4 might have been a move, because uh, I I it just seems a little bit better. Maybe I have this square really defended. So if he took, I would take the queen. I guess would be what I would need to do. But, oh wait, what am I talking about? Yeah. So, taking with the knight was my inaccurate move. 
actually backing up was the better move. So, I think I should have taken this with the Rook. I think that would have been all right. Let's look at it. Yeah, it says it's a an inaccuracy. So, Queen B1 is by far the best move. Interesting. So, yeah, I don't know. I got out tacted. Like, he, he had all these cool tactics. Like, that is such a sweet move to see. So, basically, we were even. And then I took here and lost basically all my advantage. It's plus three for my opponent. Um, this was an inaccuracy. Coming forward, apparently, was the better move. So, I thought there might have been something here. Right? I mean, he can't take it was my thought. But I was like, he's got, if he if he does take it, this is only so dangerous because he's got enough pieces. This bishop is here. So I didn't see it. Let's, uh, let's see why he takes, I take. Okay. So I just, I'm having trouble calculating. Yeah, he would, he would take first because this is just straight hanging, right? Like he could take this. My, that was what I was thinking was he was going to take that, but I don't know if that's um, as good as what the computer just laid out. That looks pretty solid. Um, whoa. Let's get back to the regular line that I played. Um, yeah, my opponent had all the cool tactics. I didn't know what to do. Um, this was inaccurate. It wanted me to back down here. It avoids this check, which I got hit with in the game. I moved here, and he had another check. So, again, C2 was just the square to go to. I took the pawn. My opponent comes back. I'm still lost here, um, but taking this pawn was the way to go. Losing the exchange. I mean, it's just it's tough. Opponent played like an 1800. He played like a perfect game, basically. And I played like a 1350. So, that sucks. I'm 1199. One point under 1200. But it's okay. We'll get it right back. Um, so, if you guys made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, Today is definitely going to be a day for me to remember. Because I was very pleasantly surprised to get 1200 ELO and continue my journey on up. And, uh... I think it's cool that I've set an even better goal of getting to uh, 1,800 ELO. So I hope you guys are along for the ride. I appreciate all of your support, and I will catch you on the next one. See you then.